Hi everybody, I'm Ed. And I'm Barb. And, and we're, we're the, the Streeters. Streeters. Welcome to the RDRV studio today. We're going to be talking about the set in addition to your the grinder. And we're going to be talking about the second story work surface, the G surface. The mini G and the bits that go along with it. Right, Barb. And I'll tell you, they are... These little additions are gonna add a lot to your grinder, so stay tuned. We're getting ready to get started. You've been using this grinder for, what, three weeks now? About three, since the last, so yeah. So what do you think of it? I like it. Two things about this that really just excel for me is the work surface light, the LED light that comes with the shield and everything, and this little bad boy right here. This, it's a very simple piece of equipment it snaps on onto the grid surface, but it keeps all that splashing that's going on. You know, you should use your grinders when you have a little bit of a gurgle bar. Sure. And so with this one, we do get that gurgle, but we don't get the mess. Right. And I love it. It's great. I love keeps it. Keeps the surface, cl everything clean. And, and then, uh, of course, the quick bit. Yeah. Change the rings. You can order these bits here. They also fit on your uh, your inland products, your whizzing, whizzling products. So yep, that's it's great. really nice. So we're going to show them a little bit more about this grinder today with the additions, I think. Laura. Yep. So. Okay. And you know what? Just like I thought the way it's gonna anchor into the different areas on your grid pattern is with these four little tiny legs. I'll put my finger right there so hopefully you can see them. These four little tiny legs. So this is such a simple, easy mount. Watch this, here we go. Wow. That's it. So what this, this knob here, what this does, this adjusts this back and forth. Okay, so you don't, you're not gonna be able to get real close because eventually you're gonna run out of grit. Here we go. Just a quick little score. We're gonna take this. This is our English muffle. Let's see if I got it. All right, so I have it too wide, but that's okay. You know, I wasn't measuring anything. Here we go. We're gonna back up a little bit. We're gonna make sure this is mounted. This is so, and if you look over here, there is a scale over here. There's a scale that is like one inch, oh, inch and a quarter. So, so there's a little scale right here. And this tech, this is called the set, y'all. That goes with the, the grinder. Okay. okay. <laughs> y'all, no little hoop-de-doos, ringers and stringers. Look at that. That is beautiful. And it's all because we have a straight edge, boy. Mm -hmm. You want to try it? Sure. Here. Try it. Just, I mean, just, yeah, just sand the, that again. But, I mean, you can find it. Check it out. It's really, so, you know, because of the, the boxes that we're going to be doing. Let me just turn it up just so that it just snugs. Hold on to the glass and then turn it on. Wow, right? Is that sweet or what? One thing you're going to want to remember on this tool, everybody, is you want to keep this aluminum bar right here. You want to keep that clean, and you don't want to get it bent because, again, this is a straight edge. And my suggestion is when you're done with it, loosen this up, slide that fully back so that it rests against the carriage, and just snug it. This grinder here. Now, y'all, the second story work surface has been around for a while. But theirs is designed just for this. So the first thing we have to do is take this off. We're gonna take our sleeve off. And then we're gonna reach in here and we're gonna take this off. So just a little word of wisdom to everybody. When you get ready to use your second story work surface, you gotta take all this apart. So when you're done with the second story work surface, clean that one. And then because you got to put all this back on, go ahead and clean the inside of your bottom story. So, but this is what we're doing. So we have to reach in here. This is our brush attachment that keeps our bit clean. And you can see I've got a little bit of glass dust on it. So 
But here's what happens. So they recommend when you use a second story work surface, because the bits are so much smaller that you, you use your orange bristles, okay? And they slide right into that just like that. So you're removing this part. Okay, so this goes right over top of that. Okay, now before I do that, I'm gonna show you. Guess what? Four little pins again, just like on the straight edge that are holding this thing in place and are not gonna allow it to move around. Okay, so this piece fits in here, just like that, just like it does, okay, in the bottom. So now you can see this, okay, right there, all right. So this is the twin pack here. This is the twin pack of Mini G jewelry bits. You can order this, they're about, these two bits, I don't, they're about $30, I guess. But this is what happens. You have a drawer here to store these in so you don't have to lose them. So let's go ahead and pull this off. This is called, again, y'all, this is the Mini G Bit System, okay? And these bits are so cool. So what I want you to see, I'm gonna pull these brushes back and I'm gonna have the camera zoom in. If you see the top of this shaft on this, on this uh, piece of equipment is threaded. And I want you to look at this. These are threaded as well. So this is our quarter inch bit. Y'all, this will change, this small surface will change your uh, grinding habits. All right, so now what this is, okay, this goes over top of this shaft and this keeps the water from going over top of it, okay? So we're gonna get that pulled back just like that. And then so we just wait for the flat spot. There it is, boom. Push that down. They say to push it down snug. And then we're gonna reinsert our cleaning brush. Now, this is, a little bit of information that I'm going to leave with you before we start grinding this is when you're done with this, take it out. Don't leave it in there. And really, uh, I would suggest that you put some sort of a lubricant around here before you even put it in. And, and I will do that. Believe it or not, I'm going to guess. Yes. Look at that. You know what fits on top of that? This fits right in that grid pattern as well, y'all, look. Now we're gonna take this, and we're gonna set it right down in there, okay? So we're gonna put some water in this. So the water feeds right up to it. Look at that. If you need to get inside of something, this is what you need to be using. It's very simple. Just make sure you've got plenty of water in your reservoir. And this, these brushes just pick this right up, bring the water up to it, and it's really nice. It's really nice. So this is with the eighth inch bit which I think is really nice. I'm, I'm gonna unscrew this because I'm definitely not leaving it in there. So we, we gotta get a little bit more water, but now you can see the difference between an eighth inch and a quarter inch. I'm gonna have to, these components that, that come with this grinder, I'm gonna give it a thumbs up because I'm really excited about it. Bon. <laughs>